Abraham Lincoln is the hero of the United States and is consistently ranked as one of the greatest presidents in American history. However, in the following movie, we'll see him on a very special mission. In 1818, Little Will is being beaten by a slaver at a plantation in Indiana. Abraham Lincoln rushes to save his friend but his father, Thomas, tries to stop him. Abraham steps back and takes an axe, attempting to kill the man. Unfortunately, the two boys then get more brutal hits. Thomas and his wife, Nancy, storm out to save their son. He knocks the slaver off the river. The owner, Jack Bartz, appears and accuses the Lincolns for attacking his people. Due to Abraham's action, they are all fired. At night, Abraham sees a shadow entering his house and gets closer to Nancy's bed. It is revealed to be the owner Jack. The following day, Nancy becomes very ill, even the doctor couldn't explain her condition. Abraham lies next to Nancy and reads her a poem he made by himself. Just then, Nancy dies. At Nancy's funeral, Thomas cries and tells Abraham never to think about taking revenge for his mother. Abraham is bound by the promise to his father until Thomas dies nine years later. He has to make Jack pay the price. One night, after having some drinks in the bar, a man approaches and talks to him but Abraham only thinks about his revenge. Later, Abraham comes to the plantation and points the gun at Jack. For some reason, his gun fails to trigger at first. When Abraham runs away from Jack, he manages to fix the gun and eventually shoots Jack in the eye. He then throws the gun to the river. A second later, Jack suddenly appears with the face of a vampire and attacks Abraham. The strange man from the bar appears from behind Jack and rescues Abraham. The following day, Abraham wakes up in a house. Later, he gets to see Henry Sturgis, who saved his life last night. Henry explains that vampires exist around the countries and to hunt them down, a person needs to be well trained and commit to a life completely alone. Abraham then pleads to be a vampire hunter. Henry accepts him and the two start the training. Abraham chooses his very first weapon as the axe. Henry tells Abraham that real power doesn't come from hatred, it's from the truth. Next, Henry trains the young man to fight in the dark because the vampires can be invisible. The two spend years for the hunting skills. Henry also reveals that the vampires never wear anything silver. Silver is their weakness. Henry gives Abraham a silver pocket watch. Henry wants Abraham to kill the vampires' leaders, Adam and his sister Vadoma. Other vampires including Jack Bartz, his enemy, are actually descended from them. Vampires have been in the New World for centuries. They slaughter native tribes and early settlers. But when the Europeans arrive with their slaves, they see the opportunities to build an empire of the undead. The hunters, like Henry and Abraham, ensure that this is a nation of men, and not monsters. In 1837, Abraham comes to Springfield to study law. He befriends a shop owner named Joshua and works at his shop to pay for the rent. He also meets with Mary Todd. Though Henry used to warn a hunter not to develop any relationship during his life, Abraham soon has some feelings over Mary. During the time living in Springfield, Abraham has to hunt vampires, following Henry's letters. One night, Abraham accidentally falls into the trap of a vampire. When the vampire almost cuts his neck for blood supply, Abram manages to kill the monster with a knife hidden before. In the daytime, Abraham usually covers the wounds when he is at work with Joshua. One night, Joshua brings Abraham to a town ball which is also a good chance to meet Mary again. Seeing Abraham sitting alone in the party, Mary teaches him to dance. Their attachment irritates Mary's fiancé, a Springfield senator. Abraham spends night time hunting for vampires. There are more and more appearing in town. This makes him exhausted during the daytime when he has a day out with Mary. Abraham reveals his identity to Mary, which makes her even fall for him more. However, Abraham decides to stay away from Mary as it is the best for her safety. Meanwhile, the fact that a mysterious hunter has killed six vampires alerts Adam and Vadoma. One night, Abraham reunites with Will, his childhood friend. He finds all the way to see Abraham, a law student, to help him prove his true identity. Will is born free and not a runaway. On the way, the two are attacked by the bounty hunters. Abraham fights back with his remarkable strength. However, the two end up in jail, and Mary has to help them out. During this time, Abraham proves himself to be a very potential politician. His contributions to the community impress the town senators. Henry appears in town and lets Abraham know that Jax has noticed Mary for a long time. It is now time for Henry to kill Jack. In a furious horse chase, there is a very competitive fight between Abraham and Jack. Abraham finally defeats Jack. Before dying, Jack reveals that Henry is actually a vampire. Later, Abraham finds Henry to know about the truth. Henry confesses that years ago, he was attacked by Adam and became a vampire. As Henry's soul is impure, he can't kill Adam or any other vampires. Only the living can kill the dead. He thinks of a plan to train for vampire hunters like Abraham, hoping to destroy the entire vampires and eventually Adam. Abraham is disappointed and leaves Henry after that. He quits being a vampire hunter. Coming back to the shop, 
Abraham proposes marriage to Mary. The couple then have a fabulous wedding. Henry shows up at the wedding and warns Abraham that giving up on the hunter mission does more harm to Mary. Abraham just ignores Henry. Meanwhile, Adam and Vadoma find out about Abraham's identity by the silver watch in Jack's hand. They kidnap Will and use him to lure Abraham to a party. Abraham tells Joshua the truth and they come to the plantation to save Will. At the party, Abraham sees the slaves become vampire food. Abraham storms in and destroys some of the vampires with his silver axe. Vadoma appears and chains Abraham with a chair. Adam wants to recruit Abraham, making him a right-hand man for the plan to make the US a country of the undead. When Adam is about to take blood from Will, Joshua appears with a horse ride and furiously rescues the friends. The slaves help the friends to run away from Adam and Vadoma. From that moment, Abraham develops his political career, aiming to eliminate slavery. Henry argues that the slave trade helps the vampire under control all these years. If Abraham interferes with them, the vampire will rage on. Abraham decides to separate from Henry and insists on his path. He'll not fight with the axe anymore, but with words and ideals. Later, Abraham Lincoln becomes the President of the United States. Will and Joshua become his very close assistants. He moves to the White House with Mary when the US falls into a civil war. They have a son named William. Vadoma disguises to a servant and poisons William. The boy becomes very sick for days and dies shortly after that. Mary blames Abraham for everything. Henry shows up and tells Abraham that the boy's death is just a beginning. There are more and more casualties during the war. The vampires are becoming more powerful than ever. Abraham suddenly thinks of a solution when he holds a silver fork. He orders all the silverware in the area and turns it into silver weapons. Joshua thinks Abraham is out of mind and he is killing the country. He then takes the vampire's side and reveals Abraham's silver plan to Vadoma. Abraham plans to transport all the silver on a train. Meanwhile, Mary and a lot of slaves are on their way to leave Washington. On the train, Henry shows up and lets Abraham know that Joshua is a betrayal, but Abraham doesn't buy it. Later, Will and Abraham fight with the vampires on the running train. Abraham takes his silver axe back and kills countless monsters. Henry also joins Abraham and Will. In the car train, Adam learns that the silver cargoes are actually all rocks. It turns out Joshua meant to trap Adam at the beginning. This whole rock plan was set up by Abraham before. Joshua then gets killed by Adam. As the train is about to crash into a fire, which was set by Vadoma before, Abraham uses his watch to stab Adam. The three finally escape and survive. The silver weapons are actually transported by Mary and the slaves. Armed with their silver weapons, the soldiers destroy the vampires and eventually win the war. During the battle, Mary avenges her son by shooting Vadoma in the head. Abraham finally makes the US reborn with liberty and only the living. The remaining vampires have to escape to other parts around the world. Henry convinces Abraham to become a vampire so he can be immortal and continue his mission of destroying the vampires. However, Abraham declines his idea. Later, Abraham Lincoln is murdered by John Wilkes Booth. In modern time, Henry approaches a young man and talks to him as the way he first met Abraham long ago. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.